I have been working in research lab for more than 14 years now, and I have seen how these research facilities generate single-use plastic waste. It depends on lab to lab, but when we were calculating, we were, we were doing the numbers, we found out that each lab, 60 to 80 kg, they use the single-use plastic per month, and that can cost 14,000 to 18,000 Canadian dollar. I'm just talking about a, a medium-sized lab. Actually, the problem is uh, not pretty neat new but no one is doing anything about it and we were quite concerned about it that you know it is affecting our environment and marine lives we started looking for all the possible solutions so we were thinking what we can do to replace this something that is you know biodegradable something that is green then we were in the Vinyl Cove beach and then we saw the, this green long leaf and it was gluey when you touch it it has alginate so because of that polymer, the polysaccharides, you touch them and it's gluey. So that is how you can say there is some content in there that you can take it out and you can make the product from there. You can make a bioplastic from numerous things, but we wanted to focus on the seaweed because in Newfoundland is cold and uh, seaweed likes the cold water. So that's why we choose the seaweed as a, one of the main ingredients for our product. What we are trying to do is get our polymer extracted from the readily available uh, seaweed so that you don't need to, you know, hunt for the particular specific type of seaweed. In Newfoundland, I believe mostly it's the sugar kelp that is uh, more uh, available, readily available. And also the percentage of polymer that you can get from that particular species of seaweed because that, at the end, that is what matters for us. It's a very sustainable biomass. It's a very sustainable way to grow organic matter. It's not like farming. There's no fresh water required. There's no fertilizers you have to put in. You know, it improves the environment. It actually takes up nutrients and takes up uh, things that are in the environment. So it locks up nutrients, but it also locks up carbon. So it's a carbon sink. So it has all these great properties and it's super sustainable. But what do you do with that biomass? And that's sort of the million dollar question. That's what people are trying to figure out now. And that's kind of what BioLab Mate's doing is figuring out how to turn that seaweed into plastics in a way that we can use. So there are three step process, formulation, fabrication, and testing. The first step is the formulation step where you extract those polymer from those seaweed. And the second step is a fabrication step where you take those polymer and make the product. And the third step is a testing phase. We are just not focusing on the bioplastic for the research lab and in the medical facilities, but we do have the, you know, eye on the the single-use plastic that is used in the household items and other items, right? You can use this uh, bioplastic for uh, making a laboratory product. Um, they can be used by the companies like the geotechnical companies, environmental companies, hospitals, and the lab and the universities because they also use a lot of uh, lab plastic. As well as uh, there's other side of the uh, bioplastic is in the automobile sector. The biggest sector of all is the packaging, the food packaging sector. And the last one is the uh, electronics. So in many electronics company, they also look for a replacement for the plastic. We try to improve and enhance the property for those applications, yeah. We have customers and uh, they are waiting for our product. We are in our MVP stage and we are working on it probably by spring. And then from there, we just want to collaborate with the different, you know, institute, universities, and the companies who are making bioplastic, and then go from there and make our own product and start selling. We would be looking for uh, engineers because uh, that's very important right now in, in terms of extruder machine or injection molding machines. Those are the yeah, crucial part right now for the project. And other than that, we also need some uh, business advisors and, and the scientific advisors too. I see my company as a biocomposite company. Uh, we wanted to make a biomaterial product which is a high grade and use can be used for the uh, applications such as like uh, automobiles, uh, aerospace and the uh, medical sectors as well as the packaging sector. So that's what I look for my company to grow in our next five years.